Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Kira. if you're new here. Um, and this tutorial is based on a lot of LA Girl, J Cat testing makeup and um, have uh, tried a few things out of their from their range well from Ally Girl before which are ride or die for me so if you want to see how I created this look and what type of products that I used please keep on watching and let's get into the tutorial hello and welcome back um, so we're gonna get started into it. My skin is already prepped and primed. Um, I am obsessed with any kind of LA Girl uh, cosmetics. Um, I've used them a lot and you probably, did I actually use them in any of my other videos? I'm not too sure but I do really really like their products um, and I've got a few that I'm going to review today. Um, ones I haven't used before and one, ones I would literally are like ride or die. Um, so I've already went in, as I said, priming my face. I'm gonna go and use my um, Pro Conceal in the shade Porcelain just to kind of get rid of any redness around my face and then blend it in with my Beauty Blender. So, brand new tube. It's always good when you have a new one. So just push it right up and it has a nice little applicator on it as well. And um, I find they're, they are quite easy to use also. I'm just putting this all over. This is quite a light shade, so if you don't like a really bright kind of highlighting colour or if you're kind of, I probably would even um, maybe go towards the light beige colour. That's actually really, really nice as well and nice and natural. So it's really your own kind of preference and what you feel works best for your skin. Because they have such a good shade range and they're literally, they retail for no more than I think about four, four euro I think. No, I could be wrong but I'll leave a lot of the links down below of the stuff that I have. Now some of the bits they did give me a um, a voucher for Christmas which I'm very grateful for. I'm very surprised as well at the same time because I did do a takeover for them not so long ago um, and I was very surprised that they gave me. I was very happy as well at the same time. Um, but yeah, like I'm very grateful because like I'm only small, like I'm not really, I'm not really like a big channel or anything. So uh, anything that anyone kind of gives me or gives me an opportunity for, I'll always jump for it. Although it's kind of been hard over the last while. I've kind of, I've seen it as well um, as I've kind of, I follow a few girls on Instagram who say the exact same thing. Um, they've fallen into a little bit of a rut and don't know what direction they're going in. Um, now I only do this for a bit of fun, but like obviously you kind of, sometimes you kind of get a bit demotivated on the stuff that you kind of produce or any videos that you do put up. But I like what I do. Like it's, it's your own kind of preference of, whether or not you want to watch me, but um, I'm an abundance of personality and very much a comical person. I don't take life too seriously, um, but yeah, like you just kind of have to take it on the chin, like no matter what you put out there. Um, but now I'm going to go in, I'm going to mix two foundations because I am a little bit pale at the moment. So um, I have the shade uh, Nude Beige in the LA Girl Pro Coverage Hot HD Foundation. This is one of their best sellers um, and it's so nice. As I said, it's a nude beige so it's kind of a nice kind of neutral colour. Um, depending on, obviously if you're in between tan, it might be a better shade or if you are a little bit darker skin, it might be might suit you better. Um, I picked this up because I wanted it to be for kind of like a little bit of a tan but I didn't put any tan on because I was a little bit too lazy so I'm going to pop pop this on the back of my hand and I'm going to go in as well with their um their matte coverage foundation as well so it's the pro matte LA girl pro matte foundation and this is in the shade bisque so I'm just going to mix both of these because I do have quite um, oily skin so I kind of mixing these two kind of will uh, balance it out slightly. Um, now I haven't used them together yet but we'll see how it turns out. I'm sure it won't be that bad. Um, but mixing both of those together. I can only imagine I say it. I really do like the um, Pro Coverage Foundation. Um, like it is raved about so and that gives a lovely, lovely finish to the skin. 
and also if you haven't watched my New York vlog that's I'll link that above as well if you want some tips and tricks of where to go while you're over there if you're planning on going over to New York check it out you might like it and um, because it gave some really really good ideas of where to go like um I was over there for a week and that was my first time being there and I kind of got a lot done like for, for the time we were there so check it out if you want but um it's definitely worth a watch if you kind of want a few ideas on where to go you can already see straight away on that foundation how nice it is but it kind of mixed in with that matte foundation it kind of it's not too matte but it, it kind of still gives a little bit of a glow to the skin might need a little bit more so I'm gonna pop that on okay so that is the foundation all blended into the skin and um, as I said like it gives such a lovely lovely finish and um, and doesn't leave you too matte so depending on what type your skin is probably even try it out do the mix the two foundations because I think it definitely works out quite nice um, and gives a lovely lovely finish so um, and this foundation really only retails for seven euro seven to eight euro I think it is um, now it could be I think it's actually up to nine um, I'm not 100% sure but it is um, you can buy it sorry on uh, Beauty Bay and also on the LA Girl website so um, check it out definitely like for it's so inexpensive very comparable to like chemist prices so um and definitely worth a try if you haven't tried them already um i'm gonna go in now with the uh, pro conceal which i did pop down before i did put my foundation on um just push a little bit of this up and just put it on my normal areas just down the sides of my nose and also a little bit just along here so not too much on the eyes because I don't want to kind of cake it too much. So as I said, down the bridge of the nose, on the side of the nose, and then just that small part along there on the chin like that. And I'm also going to use, um, now that as I said is in the shade porcelain. So I kind of like that light shade, but if you do like if you do like something that maybe has a little bit more of like a peachier tone you can try the light light beige stuff like that um, and i'm going to go in now with the shade toast in the same uh, pro conceal and um, just to contour my face so push this a little bit of this oh a little bit of this goes a really long way so if you are going to be using it because i learned the hard way the first time i used it so and then going into my beauty blender to blend out the concealer and then I'll go in and blend out the um and at the contour. Just gives a nice base for your um for your powder contour to be put down. I'm gonna be using some um J Cat um makeup as well, which I've never tried before, and they look so promising. I swatched um I swatched some of the eyeshadows the other day when I got them and oh my god they're actually gorgeous the palette was like 10 10 euro and for all the shades that you get in it like I just think it's such a good deal now just blending in that um contour shade as well as you can see like it's already just gives like a nice amount of coverage like look at that I just think that's so gorgeous they blend into that foundation like I know they're all the same kind of they're the same um cosmetics brand but like where could you go wrong getting all that stuff for the price that they are like the pricing point that they're at the jaw kind of just kind of sharpens it slightly because you know that double chins from the Christmas period there they're coming in quick and fast such a nice finish on it honestly and as I said just blend it upwards try not to blend it down because that'll kind of bring the face down and obviously you want your contour to kind of chisel your face once that's all blended in like the finish on that alone like you could literally just wash put a bit of powder over the top and you'd literally be flying um but that's the base done as you can see looks really really nice so nice and promising like honestly 
and I don't use it enough like and that's the thing like I I get so many different foundations and then I get into a rut of using the same one over and over again but like mixing those two is actually they're lovely I have to say if I do this on myself next I'm gonna go into setting my face um now I have this LA Girl uh, Pro Powder the Satin Powder and um, it's the translucent um the translucent one now to be honest this is one thing that I I wouldn't necessarily recommend um just because it does give very bad flashback and we literally look like James Charles when he did when he was flashback Mary and um, so yeah <laughs> that's literally what you look like when you put this on because it I don't know like I'm gonna use it for the purpose of the of the video but I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna put down my Charlotte Tilbury one as well and um, just because I do not want to have like really really white under eyes and I don't want to really flash back to be honest so I'm just gonna go in with a tiny bit of it and um, just to kind of dust my face weird weird smell as well which I am not a fan of so it's kind of one thing I don't think I'd kind of recommend the more I kind of used it, the more I could see how much it kind of, how much of a flashback it was given and it's not flattering whatsoever. So that's as much as I'm going to use of that. Um, I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter as well and just kind of pop this under the eye. It gives a nicer finish. Now, not to say that powder does give, like, it does make your under eyes look really, really flawless. But it's just a flashback is not, not good. Um, but once that's down, I'm going to go in with my, um, my bronzer now. So, I have the LA Girl Pro Face um, High Definition Matte Bronzer. And um, this is in the shade Chestnut. So, it's this colour here. It's really, really rich kind of brown um, which I love. I love a nice contour shade um, that looks like that. So I'm just going to open this up. Oh, it's a nice little packaging as well. It's kind of like the bronzer shade colour along the sides. Oh, it gives you a little compact as well. Not that I'd be using that sponge, but it gives you a little mirror and everything. So that's quite cute. Um, but it's that colour there. Really nice. Um, so I'm going to go run so using my trusty l pennies brush if you have not purchased this where are you living because it's the best brush ever already looking at that that looks really nice the color of that bronzer is beautiful literally like the smallest bit of this it's mad like how pigmented it is and it's gorgeous color like I've never used any of their contour shades before, but in the chest and the colour is very, it's like a nice warm brown. Just make sure that's all blended into the skin. It's really pretty. Gorgeous. I really like that. That's a really nice bronzer. Um, I'm going to go in and just kind of um, go underneath the bronzer area there just to make sure it's nice and clean underneath so that's the bronzer down let's blend that in a little bit more and going into my fave um i use this all the time and um, this is the la girl blush in the shade just peachy it is the most gorgeous peach color and um, for the for the cheeks oh my god like there's no more that i can say about this because it's so good so I just like to pop this on the apples and kind of bring it into the contour. And that little bronzer compact again actually because it has a really nice mirror in it. So pretty. Oh, I look sun kissed. Oh my god. Oh my god, wow. If anyone doesn't know that, where are you living? You're living under a rock. I've done my whole kind of base. Um, I don't have a highlighter for them. Um, I don't know why I didn't pick up a highlighter actually, but I don't have a highlighter, so I'm just gonna go in my own kind of normal highlight. Um, and I'm gonna run through my brows. So I'm using the LA Girl um, the Shady Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade, oh, it's in the shade Espresso. 
So it has just like the normal spoolie on one side and then the pencil on the other. So I'm gonna go in and run through my brows. So this is gonna be a, a quick run through because so that's one brow done. That's how quick this is with using it like. If you over something. That's my brows all done and set in place. Um, I just put a popped on as I said, I had my own kind of highlighter, I didn't have an LA Girl one, but this is just the Be Perfect mid middle, middle Mitchell palette. How gorgeous that, like, oh, I'm obsessed. Um, but I'm gonna go in and do my eyes. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the J Cat stuff that I got, um, and I'll do my lips as well. But um, the J Cat, little um palette that i was uh, that i got was the jk extreme access pocket shadow um and it's so gorgeous uh, the colors in this are actually beautiful um but like such a lovely like everyday palette um and this is the one called walk of stardom so it comes in like a little package like that so i'm gonna go in straight away and do my eyes and um, i'm gonna go in first with the orange shade so this one up the top um, and just blend actually yeah i'll go into with the orange shade first and blend that all over my lid these are really pigmented as well so just be aware of that. This is actually my first time putting them on my eyes, but I have swatched them, so that's why I'm saying they are slightly a little bit pigmented. So they test out whether or not they blend nicely. Nice so far. A little bit of kickback, but the palette was literally, as I said, about 10 euro. So I'm for, what was that, 12 shades? Like, and look at that. Really pretty. A little small little palette like that you could just use for every day is what you need and next I'm gonna go in then to the kind of more burgundy color this one down here and uh, just concentrating this more so in the crease area and then blending it into the orange shade so going into a little bit of a smaller size kind of blending brush this is the Morphe M507 um, and just going into that, this is just a nice little brush for kind of detail work. Okay, this one isn't really picking up. Let me just go into a little bit of a bigger brush. And um, this is just a Morphe, another Morphe blending brush. I'm just gonna go in straight into that darker shade. Don't know what's up with this shade, but it doesn't seem to be picking up enough of the product. Sometimes when you do have these kind of palettes and stuff you kind of have to dig slightly to get the first layer off it also need a cup of tea so every one second as i said try and get as much color payoff from that as you can you can kind of start to see a little bit better now Blending really nice actually into that. So that looks really, really pretty. Um, I'm gonna go in then with the middle shade, which is this gorgeous color here. Um, and pop this all over the lid space um, just to cover the area where I haven't kind of brought down the, um, the transition colors basically. straight into that color these are really really nice I have um swatched these so I have that all over the lid it actually looks beautiful really pretty so going back into the, both those purple and the orange shades and just kind of blend that into the eye so once I've got all the eye down, I'm going to bring all the kind of um, the matte colors down onto my lower lash line. But I also have another product um, from JCA, which I am very excited to use, which is their um, Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousses. These are such a weird formula, but they are so gorgeous. And I think it's going to be really nice on top of um, just that kind of more 
kind of burgundy colour that I put down um, it kind of it's going to make it kind of pop slightly um, I'm going to pop it on a little bit with my finger so it's such a weird texture so it's kind of like a moussey texture so you kind of just have to pat your finger into it slightly and it picks up such really really nice um, amount of product so I think this is just going to look really really nice on top of this colour um, if I just kind of pat it down slightly just to give give that kind of multi-dimensional colour that already just putting it down is just making it look so much more like sparkly like this even all over the eye itself would just be fab and like you can even see the different shades I don't know if you can kind of let me see if I can even put a little bit more on it um, like you can't see if you can see that because of the light see the way it's kind of it's kind of got different kind of shades in it and um, it's kind of like a more baby apologies for that cutting off because <laughs> as I was telling you about this gorge and um, the mousse from Jcat this is like gorgeous like this is on the eyes now at the moment it looks like a pigment but it's like such a weird weird texture but so gorgeous as well um but I, i've already kind of finished off the eyes and um, did the under eye as i said put on a bit of mascara and um, i'm gonna go in and put on my glamify lashes which are in gb11 these are the most dramatic gorgeous lashes i've ever tried in my life i've never never used glamify before until i went to an event and I'm not even messing like these are absolutely gorgeous and um, they have really really cheap deals on their um on their website I think it's just glamifybeauty.com glamify um, or on their Instagram if you want to check them out but like their lashes are literally like you can get three pairs for £10 like such good deals but they're so beautiful as well and so fluffy um, and like I never used to use any other lashes only the Primark ones uh, So Sue or like any other ones that I could kind of see that were nice but these are the most wispy wispiest lashes I've ever used ever like ever um but i'm gonna go in with them and pop them on the eyes i'm gonna show you my lip as well um i'm gonna be using a la lip uh, la girl lip liner and also a gloss as well which has like different kind of reflex in it it's really really nice um so first i'm going into the la girl lip liner and it's in the shade mauve or mauve whatever way you want to pronounce it Um, i'm gonna go in with this first to line the lips <laughs> just to line the lips i love their lip liners and they're so inexpensive i'm just gonna try and cover the whole kind of lip because this is gonna kind of be my my lipstick as well because I don't want to go in with because this is like kind of like different reflex as I said uh, I wanted to kind of stand out these are actually so buttery as well so that's the mauve colour um, and now I'm going to show you the J-Cat um, micro like I don't even know how to even pronounce it but, um, but it's just this lip lip tonics from J-Cat it's in it's the Extreme Shimmer Topper and it's in the shade Twinkle Toes. There you go. Um, so I'm going to pop this on top of this lip liner. Now just look at this. This is just so gorgeous. This on its own, I did it the other day. Oh my God, it looks so pretty on its own as well. But I'm going to pop on the lashes and then I'll come on and I'll show you the finished look when it's all complete. Okay, so that is the finished eye look, all complete of LA Girl and J-Cat Cosmetics, basically. Um, but I loved how this really turned out. It's actually really fab. The skin, the eyes, so impressed that the um that palette and also that little mousse thing is divine. I can't wait to just use that all over my lid and see what it's like because I'd say it will be stunning. And then these gorgeous Glamify lashes are amazing as well. So, 
yeah that's it all finished my lovely little dress is from miss pap it's from the ali cali collection and um, it's just their pink kind of puff sleeve um dress i think they had it on sale now so if you do want to cop it get it quick but yeah that's it all finished um thank you all for watching guys and as i said if you haven't watched my other previous videos or my vlog um i will link them above if you want to even watch them or check them out um and thank you all for watching and i'll see you in my next video and don't forget to like and subscribe down below you know the drill thank you see you later guys have a nice week